Hey, Lauren here from Honest Reviews, and today we are looking at the PowerAd Energy Cell 20,000 portable charger with power delivery. Okay, so today we are looking at another power bank, and I just wanted to give a quick little kind of behind the scenes look at what power banks we choose and what we look for. And I mean, they have so many features, but the one that we always focus in on is called USB-C. It's one of the power delivery methods. And the thing about USB-C is that devices are moving towards USB-C. The new iPad Pro has it, a lot of phones have it, uh, the Nintendo Switch, uh, some computers. This is what devices are moving towards the way everything used USB-A for the last like however many years, USB-C is where we're going. So if you're buying a power bank these days, you really wanna get something with that USB-C. It's this tiny little connector. You might recognize it. It's this little one here too. And it's a faster way of charging something. And you just, if you're gonna buy something, you're gonna invest in it you want it to last longer. And if you get something that doesn't have USB-C, it's probably gonna be obsolete pretty quickly. So this power bank has it. It's a really good value. We're gonna go into the details about it now. Okay, so as I mentioned, this power bank is from PowerAd. It has a 20,000 milliamp hour capacity, which is pretty good, quite good. It's not the highest, but it's definitely pretty, pretty fair amount of capacity. And one of the really remarkable things about this is that right now on amazon.com, it is going for 22 US dollars. You can find that link below um, so that you can check it out on Amazon and get all the specs. But that is pretty remarkable. For everything we've tested, that's kind of unbeatable for the price per milliamp hour. So the price per capacity. And an extra special thing about this is when we when we look at these power banks, they'll often not have quite as much as they say they do. So we test to see what the actual capacity is. And this one tested at 90.7% of actual capacity, which is very high. Um, so this is sort of unbeatable. The thing about this is that it has all that capacity. And like I mentioned, it has the USB-C, which right, right now you kind of, you don't wanna pick something, especially a bigger one without USB-C. Some of those tiny little ones, they don't have it. Um, we have a whole video comparing the little super portable ones, so make sure to check that out. But at this at this size, you don't wanna get something without USB-C. So this kind of is ticking all the boxes. It's a really great price, $22 is very low. High capacity, 20,000 milliamp hours, that's really respectable. Good actual capacity. And then it has all the connectors that you want. Okay, so let's talk about what this power bank comes with when you buy it. Uh, there's the mesh bag, the little travel case. Um, I don't think these are super like necessary. This one is made out of plastic, which I kind of personally like because it's not gonna scratch other things up. The anchor ones, which are more expensive, will be often in aluminum, which is not my favorite. It looks nice, it's durable, but it can get other devices scratched up. This one is plastic. It's really well made. I like the design, it's simple. Like you don't have to be too fancy with these, but all of the edges around here, you know, it's a small thing, but they all are nicely rounded. Everything feels like durable, nothing's creaking, there's no gaps. Uh, so it's just like, it's well, well made plastic though. It also comes with one cable. This is USB-C, so it's that tiny little roundish one. And then the other end here is a USB-C and USB-A adapter. So I'll pull that off so you can see it kind of this is USB-C to USB-C, and then if you have something, if you wanna do USB-A, you just kinda. One thing that makes this handy is when you are recharging the power bank. So in our testing, we took a look at how quickly it would recharge using USB-C and USB-A. And the USB-A came, came in at 11.22 watts, and the USB-C was 12.9 watts, which is not a huge difference, and the benefit of this little cable is that if you don't have that USB-C recharger, um, which you know would be an additional purchase, it's extra money, and you just have the regular USB-A, you can use that with this cable, and then you can recharge it at almost the same speed, and then you can just you know charge your device USB-C to USB-C and easy peasy, you only need this one cord. So that's kind of handy to have this little cable included, 
and the recharge speed between the two from our testing wasn't really that different. All right, so a couple features of the power bank itself. It has this little button here. You press it and that lights up and it gives you a rough idea of how much charge you have left. There is the three here. There's two USB-A and a USB-C, so you can plug in multiple devices at once and you can see that is it. So this one has that power delivery standard that we were talking about. It recharges devices at 18 watts. Um, well, that's what's stated. In our testing, it didn't actually live up to that. It was more like 15 watts for a MacBook and around 12 watts for like the Nintendo Switch and an iPhone. And that's just the amount of power that is being used to recharge those things, which will affect how quickly it recharges. So it says 18, it doesn't actually live up to that. But that's kind of what we've seen with other power banks in this same range. When we're looking at like 30 watt power delivery rechargers, which we have tested, those ones are actually pulling those full 30 watts. So you kind of have to be looking at those more expensive power banks to actually get what's stated. These ones around the 18 watt don't seem to really live up to that, but that's just kind of what we've seen across the board. I do wanna really quickly compare this one to the Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour power delivery charger because it's quite similar. Um, they both have power delivery. This one is 20,000 milliamp hours. That Anchor one is 10,000 milliamp hours and the Anchor one goes for $45 US, um, which is like twice the price of this one. And Anchor has an 18 month warranty. This one has a 24 month warranty. So Anchor is a very well-known brand. People kind of flock to it, but there's a lot of other chargers that give you better specs for less money even longer warranties, and I always say make sure you follow up with that warranty if it stops working, which is common for every brand, every brand that we've tested. I've seen tons of people saying it stopped working, contact them, get them to replace it, that warranty is there, you should take advantage of it. So this one with 24 months is really remarkable for the price, the power delivery, the amount of uh, charge that it holds. This one is really hard to beat. All right, so that is my honest review of the PowerAd Energy Cell 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this one, if it might be one you pick up. I think it's really hard to beat this one, like I just said. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for a ton more awesome reviews, and I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you.